హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వఫా స్టడీస్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ పార్ట్ టూ ఇన్ పైథాన్ ప్లే లిస్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు ఇన్స్టాల్ పైథాన్ ఆన్ విండోస్ సో ద మెయిన్ ఏజెండా ఈస్ హౌ టు ఇన్స్టాల్ ఆర్ సెటప్ పైథాన్ ఇన్ యువర్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ దెన్ క్విక్ స్టార్ట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ విత్ ఎ సింపుల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో టు అండర్స్టాండ్ అబౌట్ పైథాన్ కమాండ్ లైన్ ఎ లిటిల్ బిట్ సో లెట్ మీ గో టు నెక్స్ట్ స్లైడ్ సో ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు సెటప్ పైథాన్ ఇన్ యువర్ సిస్టమ్ యూ షుడ్ ఇన్స్టాల్ పైథాన్ ఓకే సో టు ఇన్స్టాల్ దట్ నావిగేట్ టు దిస్ యూఆర్ఎల్ లెట్ మీ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ ఓపెన్ దట్ యూఆర్ఎల్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఓ ఇట్ లుక్ లైక్ వన్స్ యూ గో దేర్ ద మూమెంట్ యూ క్లిక్ దిస్ డౌన్లోడ్స్ యూ కెన్ సీ డౌన్లోడ్ పైథాన్ త్రీ పాయింట్ నైన్ పాయింట్ జీరో సో టుడే దిస్ ఈజ్ ద లేటెస్ట్ వర్షన్ బై దిస్ టైమ్ సో వెన్ యూ ఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ ట్రయింగ్ దిస్ అట్ దట్ టైమ్ యూ మే సీ సమ్ అదర్ లేటెస్ట్ వర్షన్ హియర్ సో ద లేటెస్ట్ వర్షన్ విల్ అపియర్ హియర్ ఆల్వేస్ సో యూ నీట్ టు సింప్లీ క్లిక్ దట్ టు డౌన్లోడ్ or if you scroll down you can see other releases also other versions also you can download from here also so i have already downloaded this so if i go to downloads in my system you could see python i have already downloaded so we need to install this let me double click this to install python in my system so once you click this this is how the uh, pop up will appear simply click, uh, select this add python 3.92 path that means set python environment variable under path variable as a so I, if you are not clear what is environment variables and all uh, don't worry it is not much complex thing think like these are variables which are available at system level okay so if you want to explore what environment variables uh, there are so many videos on the youtube you can watch them okay so select this like that means under path system variable add this python 3.9 value so that's what we are trying to do okay so that is fine don't think much about it for now so simply click this install now button to install python in your system so i am just selecting that now so as you see python you can see the setup is in progress currently so let's wait for the setup to complete it will take some 4 to 5 minutes to complete this installation so let's wait for it so uh, let me pause video here i will resume back once the installation completes great so python installation was successful simply click this close button so we are good with the python installation so once you complete your python installation if you navigate here you can see recently added files all these python files like python 3.9 module ideally that means this is like integrated development environment to work with the python files we will discuss all this in future don't worry uh some python 3.9 manuals and all right so python is added into your system so uh, if you want to make sure in any system if python is already installed or not open command prompt and simply type like python hyphen hyphen version so once you use this command it will give you like which python version is already installed in your system right so right now you can see python 3.9.0 is installed in my system so i am good that means my system is good to run the python now so we are good so this is how you install python so let's go to our slides so you as a developer actually right uh, you may be having a doubt okay so i installed python now i am good so how to start my development so what i should do actually so usually right you as a developer you need to write a code in file and you need to save that file as a .py extension file that means python file so once you save your file as a .py file what you can do since your system has a python installed now so you can execute that code that means you can execute that python file using interpreter python interpreter okay so i will practically show you that if this is confusing at this moment very simple you need to think like okay i need to write a code in file and i need to save that code as a python file once i do that i need to execute my code using the python what i installed on my system so that's how it works okay so let me do one thing so let me open one notepad okay so i am opening a new notepad this is let's assume in this file i want to write a python code so i will be writing a very simple code now or maybe like print statement so in python there is something called print statement so this this statement helps you to print something okay so i am trying to print like hello world so this is a python code the moment if you execute this code in python what will happen this statement will execute and it will print hello world okay so let me show you that practically i am saving this file so let me save this file under users uh, let me save this or let maybe let me save this file under desktop and i may have a folder called python here so let me name it like hello world 
and let me save this file as a python file okay hello world dot py so this is the extension with which you have to save the file so once i save this file so if i navigate to that particular location if i go to desktop and if i go to python so let me go to python see hello world python file right so let me take this path let me go to command prompt so i am going to take my command prompt focus to my desktop python folder location so let me paste the path here cd space path so now i am under i am inside the python folder okay so now if you want to execute this python file so what you need to do you need to type a python space and give the file name so my file name is hello world.py simply click enter see it printed hello world statement here how how this happened because the moment you executed this python space your file name python file name what it did in your system you have python right so that python interpreter uh, taken the code from this file and it executed so the output of that entire code is hello world so that's what it happened okay so always whenever you work in real time you need to write a code in files and you need to execute them on python okay so if your code is very simple you no need to write the file code into some file and you no need to execute you can directly run that code in python command line so if you want to open python for example this is a command prompt right so if you want to go to python command prompt what you need to do simply type python command and simply click enter so that's it now you are in python command line so here what you can do you can write a python code maybe i want to like print the same code print like uh, maybe like welcome to wafa studies okay so once i done my code if i click enter it is going to print that statement because that means it is going to actually execute this code so i am going to do another thing here maybe 2 plus uh, 2 plus 3 so let me click enter c5 how this output came so this code became python code because right now you are under python command line so how to go to python command line simply type command called python okay so not only this you can do the same thing in the python ide also so if i click this start button i so this ide install right when we are installing python so simply open that python ide even in the python ide you can write the python code directly and you can execute that code directly there see here so this is the ide right now see here if you compare these lines here and if you compare this one with the command line so both are same actually so that gives that you are right now on the python interpreter so now write the code and simply press the enter button to run your code so i am going to say like print uh, maybe like same thing like welcome to wafa studies okay so if i click enter now now it is going to print that so similarly if i say like 3 plus 5 it is going to print 8 so that means your interpreter is executing your python code directly you didn't save your code in any file so even you can do that but that is to test a small amount of code or small piece of code in real time scenarios you may need to deal with lot of complex logics so always prefer to write your code in file and save that file as a python file and then execute them on the python okay so let's go back to our slide so this is what i said so if you have any sh short piece of code and you want to quickly write that code or easily test that code then you no need to write that code in the file you can simply execute that code in python command line okay so hope this given a idea okay and one more thing if you want to come out of this python in command line then simply type this command like exit exit function this function will take you out of the python command line so once i click enter here it should bring me back to my command line right so here you are in python command line now you are back to windows command line that means command prompt okay so and similarly even i think on the ideally on the python ideally if you want to come out of that you can use this quit function if i am not wrong so let me click over here. see the moment you do this it says okay do you want to still run or you want to kill it i want to kill it simply click okay so that will close your python ideally okay so let me go back to our slide so this is how you install or set up python on your system and you will run a small piece of code on your system to execute it okay so hope this given an idea like how to set up python and how actually python executes your code be the code in file or be the code on the python interpreter or python command line itself directly so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you